Yeah, absolutely. You know, they, they say if you want independence uh, in a critical metal supply, you should have at least um, 30% of your mining in country, but you should actually have more like 50% of your refining in country. So if we can find resources that are, uh, call them Western world friendly. Talking rare earth with uh, Pat and Yukor today. And for me, Yukor is a hidden champion in two areas. One, because it's midstream, way overlooked compared to early exploration and mining, and hidden champion with rare earth as the commodity. Pat, your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, when you talk about opening a mine up, a mine with critical metals that will deliver to industry what industry needs, that's a, that's a long curve. That, that can take, in, in North America, it can take six, seven, eight years to get a mine up and running. It's very capital intense. But if you look at various mining operations around the world, they really need an opportunity to process and refine what they bring out of the ground. And that's the very difficult part. So 50% of what uh, the job in the supply chain is, is to first get it out of the ground. The other 50% is to refine it and get it into a form that's usable. And that's where UCOR is focused on. It, it's let's deal with people that have mines up and coming, different levels of progression, and let's create relationship with those companies so we can then refine what they're bringing out and move it downstream to people like automotive companies, defense companies, uh, to give the world what it needs right now, which is an ex-China solution, which is so crucial that, uh, that we develop for the Western world. Absolutely, and for me, it looks like a double hidden champion effect. You want to have mining in a safe jurisdiction, but you also want to have the safe uh, midstream processing capacity also in the, in the same jurisdiction. So it makes absolute sense, and that's the part that you call will uh, work towards. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they, they say if you want independence uh, in a critical metal supply, you should have at least 30% um, of your mining in country, uh, but you should actually have more like 50% of your refining in country. And um, so if we can find resources that are, uh, call them Western world friendly, and, and, and do the processing, do the difficult part to deliver downstream, you're in a really good spot. And rare earths are, are crucial, and uh, that's where we're starting. And we'll move to other critical metals as we get the first one done.